Hi guys, uh, it's me, the troublemaker. Uh, I would say happy Merry Christmas, but I won't because today is not Christmas. Today meaning December 25th. Uh, so you're gonna be like, oh man, well, how come? You know, everybody else is celebrating. Who cares whether it's not the exact date or not, or you know. All these other things. Uh, one thing I noticed is that people don't really like the truth because once the truth is told, the nature of truth is it hurts. It also shows it hurts because what you what you were told by the world is you find out that it's the lie. You've been lied to so many, for this long, so now you feel like you're a fool. And you don't like to be feeling like a fool. So you're going to say, well, you know, I don't, I'm not a fool. I don't care, you know. <laughs> but 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 uh, but you've been a fool all this time. It's like uh, a child, you know. They're told Santa Claus, Santa Claus. And then they find out Santa Claus doesn't exist. So now they, they're deceived. And they feel terrible for a while. And then it's part of growing up. You know, so what I'm trying to say is, uh, in this video, we will show why December 25th is not the day he's born, and why the Roman Catholic Church and the Protestants that followed made <coughs> serious major errors. So, number one, the day is wrong because um, they're saying that December 25th. Uh, the, in, under the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar, uh, named after the Gregorius, po uh, the Roman Catholic Pope, in 15 something, trying to correct the mistake that a previous monk, Dionysus, had made. Uh, so this calendar is like 500 years old. Less than 500 years old. <laughs> the one that we are using, you know, with December 25th there. Um, and that calendar has errors. For example, anyone speaking Latin, Spanish, or French, or Portuguese would know that the numbers set octo, nueve, dice, diese, is set sept is seven. Octo means eight. Uh, octagon, for example, you know. Um, uh, November Nuvo nuv, Nuebe is nine, and this 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 is ten. So September is the seventh month originally. No, October is the eighth month. November is the ninth month. December is the tenth month. But in our calendar now, September is ninth. October is tenth. November is the 11th and December is 12th. So we are, the word itself is saying it's, it's some one thing, and but we are using it all in a whole different, in a crooked way. So the months are wrong in this Roman Catholic calendar. Um, but now we're going to go to the day, right? So let's say December 25th is Christmas, right? So December, the month always has 31 days. So, um, so 25th, so those of you who knows math, 31 dash, 31 minus, uh, dash, 31 minus, uh, 25 is what, 6, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. So, so 6 days in December, and... And then he's uh, he's um, circumcised on the first of January, according to the Roman Catholic Church. According to the Roman Catholic Church, also they know that they're saying that the Three Kings Day or Sabasagel or the Three Wise Men happened on the sixth of January. So that means, remember, six days in in December, six days in January. So. Uh, that means that when the 
three wise men the wise men uh, I wouldn't say three because it doesn't actually say three but you know what I'm talking about Sabah Sagal when they come they came and visit um they came 12 days later late uh, that's what the Roman Catholic Church wants us to believe that they actually arrived in Jerusalem in Bethlehem uh, 12 days late they didn't actually arrived on the day he was born but they're saying that he they arrived 12 days late they didn't arrive in December 25th they arrived in January 6 according to the Roman Catholic Church in the Western world period that sorry that means that uh, Jesus had to be circumcised on the eighth day which is January 1st so Sabasagal came after Jesus was uh, uh, circumcised which is wrong that's not what the Bible is saying that's not what the Bible is saying at all so and then when you look at Luke chapter 2 verse 21 the end it says on the eighth day he was presented to be circumcised according to the law and then in verse 22 I believe or 23 it says that it's talking about purification on the day of purification so circumcision and purification is a totally different thing because in Leviticus or Lewawian or chapter 12 it says that when a woman gives birth to a boy, on the eighth day she must get him circumcised. But then after, on the period of purification, which is 40 days for if she has a boy, um, then uh, uh, she after 40 days she has to present him to the house of God. So that's what verse 23 is talking about. Or 22, I'm not sure. But um, it's talking about circumcision on the eighth day. But then the, the day of purification is, takes 40 days. So after 40 days, then he she's taking him to Bita Xavier. Uh, so, but in the Roman Catholic Church, these two, circumcision and purification, it's the same day. <laughs> Which is, that means they didn't understand uh, Leviticus chapter 12 over there. Or um, the book of uh, um, uh, Jubilee or... It must have uh, mm, mm, what's that jubilee is uh, a kufali it must have a kufali okay because it must have a kufali in fact explains it even better I think in chapter 3 or chapter 4 it actually talks about why um, it's 40 days uh, for a boy and 60 days for a girl so which means 80 days complete uh, so I mean it actually goes into the detail and explains it's related to Adam and Eve um, and all that you know so, but to make a long story short the Roman Catholic Church actually confuses these two days and they merge them into one day and they say that this is January 6th and then also you have to keep into account that they're actually believing that the three wise men or the the Sabasagal, uh, again I said three but but it's not mentioned that there were actually three but the gifts were three um, uh, they have arrived they're saying that they have arrived 12 days late after Jesus was uh, circumcised and um that's a big, big, big mistake because even in Luke and Matthew, when you look at the way, the chronology of how he's born, how the, um, there was a star, um, how the, sh the, the, the shepherds were told by some angels that um, the Messiah has come and he's born, and that, uh, and how the Sabasagal, the wise man, came and in fact left. And this is after they left that the King Herods makes a uh, a decision, a research, 
and, and then a decision to kill all the kids of Bethlehem. So it's clear that it's after the wise man came that he is, uh, he's taking this uh, action to search for this Jesus so that he could kill him. So there is no way that that could have happened after Jesus was circumcised. It's not possible. Um, I, and I'll, sh I'll post uh, all the evidence, all the errors that they made in my description section of this video. So you can see and really understand why it's wrong. And wh what are the errors? It's, it's one thing to say, oh, they're wrong. These guys are wrong. It's another thing to explain why they're wrong. Okay? All right, guys. Be good.